Oh yeah, I'm a badass. I don't know about you, but I'm absolutely horrified at myself right now. Which Ninja Turtle are you? Are you the rat? Yes. Christina Yang, quick, I'm ready to do my running whip stitch. That was a bit from Grey's Anatomy. I honestly don't know what this is, but it's witchcraft. Oh my god, yep. Yeah. Literally the most athletics thing you will ever see me do on screen. You got that on camera, right? Hi everyone, thank you so much for watching. My name is Jonathan, this is Noodle, and this is Tools of the Trade, the show where we explore the everyday items that entrepreneurs need to succeed. Now, today I'm super excited because the entrepreneur that curated this box is one named Reese Scott. Now, Reese Scott owns Women's World of Boxing, which is New York City's only women's only boxing gym. It's on the Upper East Side, and she is an absolute badass. She worked in publishing forever and then she went to a boxing gym one day and she went, you know what? I can create a space for people like me who need to come and just punch it out. And she did. And I'm truly so excited to be showing off this box. And not just because I'm worried she'll hit me. One of my closest friends takes uh, boxing lessons from Reese and one of the best things she told me is that if she wasn't ready to do something, no one was pushing her to do it. And I think that's so cool. And I tried to send that message to Noodle. I said, listen, Noodle, there's a lot of opportunities for personal growth. Like you have a lot of aggression. You can not only let out, but I feel like you can learn about yourself in the process. And you know what he did? He hit me. Totally kidding, oh my God, no, he doesn't hit me. We have fun. Okay, so, but I tried to enroll Noodle in boxing classes and he wouldn't go. And not just because he is both male and a dog because he couldn't put the boxing gloves on. Anyway, Noodle and I are gonna be opening the Reese Scott box. We're so excited. Um, if at any point during this episode, someone comes on screen and tries to attack me, I will try and defend myself. Let's crack her open. Oh my God. I don't look in this. I have no idea what's in these boxes before we film them. So I get really excited. So the first thing I'm gonna pull out of here is whatever this is. <laughs> Are these, what are these called? Okay, so this, this, not suitable for children under the age of three, but 100% suitable for a badass female entrepreneur who owns her own boxing gym. These are Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles skateboards, and I can imagine that these are, these are here for two reasons. One, something tells me that Reese is obsessed with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I feel like this is not an accident. Uh, I've also always been a Michelangelo. Living in a sewer is something that I understand. And Reese is a skateboarder. So what I think this speaks to is the passion that people have for projects outside of their day-to-day -day job. And I think that's really important. That's something that everyone should keep in mind. Never shy away from whimsy. Which Ninja Turtle are you? Are you the rat? Yes, that indicated yes. I also did not know that Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles in Spanish is Le Tortus Ninja. The next thing we have in the Reese Scott box is dr our dr <laughs> these are what are these drumsticks. But I can tell that Noodle loves this, and I know why, because Noodle loves music. Don't you, Noodle? He loves the classics. He's a big fan of um, Gwen Stefani. She's not really the classics, but she's classic 90s. First of all, I love that I got these after the skateboard because this woman owns a boxing gym, and I have yet to see any boxing paraphernalia in here so far, which makes me know that this woman knows how to have fun. I also think that she has a lot of passions, and she goes after all of them. And this is something that I read on LinkedIn the other day, which, <laughs> huge value in LinkedIn. The best employees are some of the best people that you'll work with are entrepreneurial minded. But a lot of times what that means is that they have to have side hustles. Who's to say Reese Scott will never play with Dead & Co in Denver one day? She very well could. You know, I don't know. She may never do that, but she may. But if she doesn't, it's very clear that she still loves doing this. Also, love that they glow in the dark. I love the idea that, you know, the apocalypse happens. There's no electricity. Ash has blacked out the sun. You can't stop the beat. So the next thing that we have in this box, oh my God, I don't even know. Oh no, I'm gonna pick this, cause I get it. College and peptides, do do do, college and peptides. That's the theme song for college and peptides. So these are, as I said, collagen peptides. I love this for a lot of reasons. Let's say hypothetically you work in a, a, a job where you have to wear makeup a lot, or you're a newscaster or something, and you always have someone putting crap in your hair or stuff in your eyes, or you know, you're a blogger, or maybe not even a newscaster, oh my God. This is something that I think anyone can benefit from. I think it speaks to Reese taking care of herself internally and externally, which Noodle could really jump in on. Do you need a collagen peptide? Honestly, that was a yes. The very next thing that we have in the Reese Scott box is, oh, I'll do this because I understand this, Stumptown Coffee. 
As a decaf for myself, this is hard for me to hold because I want it so badly, but I simply can't drink it because I get the shakes. Anyway, this is obviously great if you were a business owner. <laughs> You need caffeine. Maybe you know a lot about me at this point. I don't know, my social pages are all public, but I do not exercise. I carry a pug around the city, that's as close as I get. But obviously if you own a gym, you are up early. And I can imagine that this is going 24 hours a day at Women's World of Boxing to some degree. And although Reese is a joy, and I can imagine a joy 24 hours a day, everyone needs a cup of coffee. Woo! The next thing we have in here, what is this? Chakra 2, balancing so whatever this is, you shouldn't spray it directly into your eye, which is a good takeaway so far. This is a body spray that you spray around, on and around yourself to balance your chakras. Now, I love this because if you are actively taking the time to help center yourself to whatever degree that might be, I feel like you are infinitely uh, more able to succeed at whatever you're doing. Ooh, this smells good. This smells, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna do this. Oh my God, that sandalwood. Mmm, oh my God, is this just a body spray? What is this? I'm totally aligned. Guys, I honestly don't know what this is, but it's witchcraft. Do you want me to throw it to you? It's fabulous, here it goes. So that was the chakra body spray, which I, oh my God, yeah. That's the, literally the most athletic thing you will ever see me do on screen. The cloak, you can't even see me box. That's, you wanna throw it again? No, cause it won't catch it the second time. You got that on camera, right? All right, Noodle, um, blink twice if you're having a blast. Did he, he did blink? Okay, Noodle, now um, look at me if you can understand what I'm saying. I knew it was all a lie. We'll talk about this later. Okay, the next thing we have in the Reese Scott box is first coloring gloves. Oh, these are not coloring gloves. These are gloves for cleaning. I'm gonna put one of these gloves on because that's a great thing to do on camera. I'm not gonna give you colonoscopy. Honestly, I'm just here to clean your sink. But anyway, I love this because this is not only a testament to um, Reese's commitment to her gym, she cleans this. Like, this woman owns this gym, she operates this gym, and she maintains this gym. It's also for injuries. It's for treating wounds. You're in a boxing gym, you get calluses. I can't imagine that there are too many knife fighting classes, but some injuries must come out. And this is something to keep on hand for when you have to be not only an owner of a gym and someone who cleans the gym, but also the resident doctor. And as someone who has watched all 15 seasons of Grey's Anatomy, I too can be a doctor. Christina Yang, quick, I'm ready to do my running whip stitch. That was a bit from Grey's Anatomy. Anyway, the next thing we have in the box is get what you want, the art of making and manifesting your intentions. Yeah, I totally get this. Whether it is a um, motivational book, a self-help book, a fiction, whatever it might be, I always have had a penchant for keeping a book around me for when I have downtime or for when I immediately just need to go, you know what, I need to get out of this world that I'm in right now. I've had a really long day. I also love that this is here because it's, I think it speaks to self-improvement. I don't know a whole lot of entrepreneurs who have gotten their business set up and then they went, all right, that's it, good to go. I'm sure there are a lot of people who have done that, but the people that we've interacted with are a lot of the people that we're featuring in, in this are people who really are still in the nitty gritty of creating their business. And Reese, despite how overwhelmingly successful she is, I love this because I think it speaks to constantly learning and knowing that you will always be able to push yourself as far as your potential goes. And that's what Noodle tells me every night before bed. He looks me in the eye and he says, weak. Push yourself. And then I cry myself to sleep and I wake up in the morning and I push myself and it works. The next and final item we have in the box, oh my God, I've been waiting for these wrist wrap heavy bag gloves. I wonder if these are gonna fit over my latex. Oh yeah. Oh, they've got the finger, so okay, so obviously, we're in a boxing gym, you've gotta have the right equipment, right? You're not just gonna throw two people in a ring and just say, okay, the first one bleeds is the loser. That's not how this works. But if that is the case, that's why we have these gloves. I know that she provides these in her gym. What this, this does, this really speaks to me about preparedness and this lets me know that this woman was thinking about her clients and about the people who come in. She's getting everyday people into the gym who don't necessarily have this equipment, but they wanna participate in that sport. And I feel like that's sort of opportunity to really widen your market. I don't know about you guys, but sometimes I'll scream into a pillow. I'm not such a physical person. Person, I just ah, right, do a pillow, you know, and then 
let the tears fall down and then I dry myself up and then I you take a shower, cry in the shower and I'm done. This I think is re obviously it's so great if you are that kind of person who just needs a physical catharsis. And sometimes you just gotta punch something, especially if you are a small business owner. Whether or not you wanna take boxing classes at all should acquire gloves like this so you can just safely punch things when you need to. Oh yeah, I'm a badass. I got my chakras aligned. They got two layers of, of crap on my hands and I'm ready to go. I don't know about you, but I'm absolutely horrified of myself right now. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. That is the end of the Rescott box. And if you want to enter to win the Rescott box, all you have to do is follow GoDaddy on Instagram, uh, like this video, and tag a friend. And if you're already following GoDaddy on Instagram, two things. Thank you so much. Second of all, like this video and tag a friend. For Noodle, for myself, thank you.